big defensive minded battle between the Eagles and Giants tonight. This was for possession of first place in the NFC East as both teams would enter in this contest two and one and they would have full possession of the first place if they win regardless and they'll be first place no matter what even if the Cowboys win tomorrow night against the Bears or not so let's get to it uh Eagles started out both teams really were struggling to get on the board at all until the two minute warning where Vic finds Deshaun Jackson all alone wide open making it seven nothing then Eli drove it all the way down the field but only managed it a field goal Third quarter starts out, Vic was driving down, but they were held to only a field goal, making it 10-3. And then Eli was finally able to get his offense clicking in the right direction as he got Victor Cruz on the 14-yard touchdown, ties the game up. And then the Alex Henry would add a field goal for the Eagles at the end of the third, with making it 13-10. Then the Eagles would chip in another field goal in the fourth, making it 16-10. So as you can see, there's a lot of field goals in this game. But Eli Manning was able to find Bear Pasco wide open. Or we're not wide open. It was a defensive breakdown in the red zone, making it 17-16. And then, and then Michael Vick would slowly, methodically r r drive down the field, making good, good, smart decisions. Um, they couldn't get a touchdown, but they ended up getting a field goal, making it 19-17 after a chip shot by Henry. This would be Henry's fourth field goal of the day, I believe. Um, is that right? Yeah, fourth field goal. I was right. Sorry, I had to think about it for a second. And then Eli was trying to drive down the field. Got a couple they cut a couple pass interference calls go against the Eagles, which helped out the Giants, and they were in clear range. But then Eli tried it one more time deep to Barton, but Barton would be called for pass interference, which crushed him, sending him back 15 yards, making it a 53-yarder for Lawrence Times, who's been pretty clutch the whole season when it comes to field goal kicking. Um, and really a lot dependable for the most part. Then Times kicks it the first time. He misses it, but Andy Reid called a time on the last minute. It almost looked like Andy Reid waited too long to call that time. I thought the kick happened before he called it, but either way, Giants get another chance, and then they kick it, and it was too short, and another Sunday night game ends on a field goal. This time, the Kent team kicking the field goal missed it, and the Eagles hold off the Giants 19-17 at Philadelphia. Big win for Philadelphia as they needed a big bounce back after getting crushed by Arizona the previous week. And now they go on to a big matchup at Pittsburgh next week. And I think it's going to be a huge, huge game. Probably one of the best games of, of next week. Meanwhile, for the Giants, it was a tough loss. But I think but they're still looking, they're still getting better from what they did in week one. Uh, they're not, they're only one game back, but I feel like it's still a long season to go, and I think the Giants will get it together. They have the winless Browns next week at home. I think that's a good opportunity to win. Um, but that's essentially it for the day, uh, among other stats. Eli did throw 309 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick, despite a losing effort. Vic threw 241 yards and a touchdown, and did not turn the ball over. That was crucial for the Eagles' victory. They couldn't afford him to. McCoy had 123 yards on the ground today. Uh, Giants rushing got held only 57 yards in total. 39 of those were Ahmad Bradshaw's. Dominique Hickson and Victor Cruz put, turned out to be 100-yard performers today. Eagles didn't have any, although Deshaun Jackson was a yard short of it. Um, all of that, a pretty clean game for the most part, except that one pick Eli threw in the end zone to Dominique rogers Cromarty. I forgot to mention that earlier, and I thought that was a killer but either way a uh, good one for the eagles um just thanks for you for joining the sunday night recap and, and come back tomorrow night to take on for the dead bears and the cowboys should be entertaining